Hi, I'm Dr. Rahul Bharad. I welcome you all to my series What Life Has Taught Me Yesterday. Today when I'm recording this video is 2nd July 2023. I'll be talking what 1st of July has taught me in life. Also in this video I'll be discussing how South Korean people have become suddenly one or two years younger. It's an interesting story. So please do watch this video till the end so as to know how South Koreans have become suddenly one year or two year younger out of nothing. And I'll be also discussing one trending news at the end of this video. That news is about Twitter and Elon Musk. So stay tuned till the end of the video. That's a humble request from my side. <clears throat> about the most important lesson I got from yesterday's life. Yesterday was a doctor's day. Myself being a neonatologist being a practicing doctor since last almost eight years. I know what are uh, very essential duties of a doctor, what a patient thinks about doctor and what are the problems usually commonly uh, pro patients go through when they are ill. I have been, uh, I was admitted in the uh, course of MBBS in 2003. <clears throat> So it's been almost 20 years have been actively involved in this period in this field that is medical field being a doctor. Uh, some part of it has gone into education. Some part of it has gone into the preparation of PG entrance exam and various examinations. But remaining part has gone into the practice clinical practice. <coughs> we all have uh, various subspecialties and specialities of so many branches in medical field various doctors cater to their particular uh, specialized area or general uh, practice also many doctors do. What is the most important lesson I got from yesterday's doctor's day that is birth anniversary as well as death anniversary of Dr. B.C. Roy who was famous freedom fighter and famous physician from West Bengal and pre previous chief minister of West Bengal also is that we all doctors should always have empathy we all should be feeling responsible for whatever things we do whenever we are treating a patient uh, so many people uh, wished all of us about yesterday's doctor's day they gave lot of wishes to us yesterday and they have uh, very good feelings for us we all acknowledge that we know uh, how much value you have in your heart for all the doctors for all the uh, doctors you have wished yesterday and even you couldn't wish but you had a good feeling inside your heart for all those doctors so it's a responsible thing being a doctor is always uh, always a sentimental thing also for many of the <coughs> branches i am neonatologist so i know i care for uh, particularly for one month uh, till one month babies <coughs> and pediatrician also up to 18 years so these are very delicate uh, days and years in anyone's lives all the parents are very much anxious whenever we we explain to them about the condition of their child uh, how much stress they are going through we all are uh, knowing it in detail and to help people in their sufferings to help their children in their sufferings is an important aspect of becoming a doctor that is the primary aim what we all had uh, when we wanted to enter into the medical field so i wish all the thanks giving people yesterday those who were wishing me uh, happy doctor's day uh, it's it's just a small uh, feedback from my side that we all know how much responsibility we have on our shoulders as a doctor and we will definitely try to maintain the dignity and our hard work will continue to go on increasing and will continue to uh, modify our treatment as per the situation demands in future also so as to become a better doctor so as to help all my patients in future as much as possible up to the maximum limit we all can do similarly we all doctors we all need to think about ourselves also when we are asking to treat other people also we all should remain healthy if we are healthy we will be able to spread happiness and healthiness 
across all the patients we see every day if we live a happy life and healthier life that is going to help not only patients but also our own health also so we all should remain humble enough to learn so many good things from patients also it is not only one way communication that only doctors need to teach patients how to live happily and healthier uh, many a times many children even teach us so many good things so many good lessons of life children usually forget their their problems and sorrow so early they come when whenever they come out of illnesses they will immediately forget their previous sufferings and a uh, big smile will come on their face so similar attitude we all should learn from patients as a doctor and that would be a, a special tribute to all the doctors and to all the patients from our side that if we can maintain that smile in our, on our face in difficult situation as well as a good situation that's a good learning from patients right side for all the doctors and that would be a happy doctors day for all of us so that was it about yesterday most important lesson i got from yesterday's life most important news i came across yesterday is very interesting it's about south korea even i didn't know about this uh, this happening in south korea in south korea earlier the situation was whenever a child is born the child was considered to be one year old now we all know whenever we turn one year old that is the one year after we are born then we we consider ourselves to be one year old and we celebrate our first birthday so in south korea it was happening like whenever the child is born he or she will be consider one year and the next first january that child will be turning two year so one year extra will be added on the first january this was the system in south korea since many years it has gone under the so many scrutiny and so many uh, problems have been raised by people from there and now the south korean people have suddenly become younger because government has decided to stop using this system at many places though legal and some of the important places it will continue to be used but at many places people have suddenly become one or two year younger for example earlier if a child is born on 31st of december even at 11:59 pm the child was considered to be one year old at 11:59 pm and at 12 am that is after only one minute of the birth the child would be considered two years old because the date next minute was 1st of january so this was very funny thing which was happening and people were almost one or two year older considered on their documents in south korea now with this decision it will be a good decision that people will feel one or two year younger as compared to the previous uh, dates they were considered so i'll be sharing link in the description box about this news if you want to read more please go to the description box and read more about that it's very interesting also one trending news i came across yesterday is about twitter we all know since in last november 2022 elon musk has overtaken twitter and there are <coughs> so many news uh, being discussed about twitter since then uh, re recently elon musk also reduced the number of employees working at the twitter office now uh, because of so many uh, report of twitter being down there is new rule elon musk has decided that if you are a verified user you can read only 6000 maximum post per day if you are a non verified user you can read maximum 600 post per day and if you are very new unverified user of twitter you can use only read only 300 post per day so why this restriction and how it is going to help only elon musk can explain but that's a, that's a something Uh, interesting and disturbing elon musk is doing as always he is famous for so i just wanted to share this news with you all how it is going to stop uh, twitter going down i don't understand what is your opinion do tell me in the comment box if you want to read more i'll be sharing link please go to the link for knowing more about that so i hope when i discuss all these daily routine from my life and some good lessons i am learning from my daily life 
you also are getting something more interesting and knowledgeful uh, information on these videos if you do get something interesting do like share and subscribe to my channel for today we'll stop here bye bye